Hello friends and welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're making potato chip cookies. So as you can see on my counter I have five ingredients and this is all it's going to take to make these. So let's go ahead and preheat our ovens to 350 degrees because this is going to take about 12 minutes per batch of cookies. So what we're going to do in a large bowl is go ahead and add in two cups of unsalted butter which is about four sticks and I know that's a lot of butter however it works in this recipe then to that we're going to add one cup of granulated sugar and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then we're going to use either hand mixer stand mixer I'm using a hand mixer to do this and we're going to beat this until it's really light and fluffy, which could take anywhere from like about like three, four minutes just to go ahead and get it all mixed together and incorporated because you want this to be fluffy, fluffy. You don't want any of the ingredients just sitting in the bowl. You want to really mix them together. And then next we are going to add in three and a half cups of all purpose flour. Now when I add mine in, I do this in about like three runs. I don't dump it all in at once because if you do, you're going to end up throwing this all over the place and you really don't want to make that kind of mess. So we're going to add it in about maybe three times until we get it all incorporated and mixing in between each time we add it and that way it's easier just to incorporate the whole thing together. So make sure if you're using a hand mixer that you move it around the bowl and kind of get to the sides and get down into the bottom of this to make sure you pull out everything like the flour that's getting stuck in places, get it all mixed through. We want to get this completely mixed together before we add in our potato chips. Because right here, what we have in the bowl is the base of our cookie. The potato chips are the last add-in piece. So once you've gotten this completely mixed, make sure you take a spatula and just run around the edges of your bowl to pull in anything that's stuck to the sides and make sure we get it all incorporated together before we add our chips into it. And now we're going to do one and a half cups of crushed potato chips. Now you can use any kind of potato chips you want. I'm using the kind that have the ridges. Um, it doesn't matter what kind you use. Just break them up a little bit to where they're not huge pieces because you don't want really giant pieces in your cookies. And then pour it on top. We're going to fold this into the cookie dough. And you want to make sure you distribute it completely through so that way you get a little bit of chip in all the cookies that you're making. And once we get this mixed up, we're going to get it ready for the oven. And you're going to need a large baking pan or maybe two depending because I actually used two large ones to do this when I was baking. And I line them with parchment paper because that way it's easy clean up, nothing sticks and you make sure that you know everything is really cleaned up quickly at the end of this. So if you didn't do it already, make sure your oven is preheated 350 degrees. These will be in there for at least 12 minutes. And when they're baking, they don't go totally like golden or anything like that. They're kind of whitish looking when they come out. The bottom itself will be kind of golden, but for the most part, they just have a very light color to them. And I use a cookie scoop to put mine onto my baking tray. And these things do spread out a little bit when they cook, but not a whole lot. So just go ahead and scoop them on as I'm doing. And like for my tray, I think I put about eight of these on here before I put it in the oven. And this is what your cookies will look like when they come back from the oven. They're kind of sweet and they're kind of salty and they're great tasting. I hope you liked this recipe and if you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is all about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.